against Mouse. Yeah. So uh, that was without the pistol as well. They won the four spies. Let's keep our eyes on that. Oba had a great performance, 24 kills for him. I do uh, have a lot of interest to see how they handle the pressure Navi like to exert out yard. It's a bit fruity. It can get a bit high octane and requires a lot of talking, a lot of rotation management. I mean, look what they're doing in the bloody pistol, Chad. Yeah, they love that smoke going towards main and the 1x bet odds at the top of your screen heavily favor Navi to take this one. I think everybody at home with a similar sentiment. What a dream. You get Boomich coming in from heaven. Clearing it out, looking for info. Now it is held and he'll bait the shot. But the door swings open just as Bit is ready and raring to go. Two. As they look to knock on the lobby door, he takes them both down. Strapping line. Yeah, Lab, he's uh, strong on the door position. And oh, lordy me. The third kill for Bit. It's a headshot. Who would have thought? Yeah, strapping young lad. Holds his nerve. Oh, he might even get a little chance into a fourth here if Mihu continued his journey. He's actually going to charge on into ramp and try and revenge his fallen comrade, but it will be simple. Second, using that P250 and Kevlar to great success. Well, easy peasy. That's uh, the way things started yesterday against Mouse. And now if he just win the force by it, maybe they can get 10 rounds on this. But yeah, you know, like, he, he was look, looking for, like, a newspaper route. Instead, he's the doorman. <laughs> Swings it open. Hello, sir. Thank you for coming. Yeah, it doesn't look particularly impressed either. It won't be until they get the W in the column. It's a must win. Could you imagine now for a bit, like, the, they won Cologne, the first land back in whatever it was, 500 days or whatever. That was his, that's, that's his first, like, big trophy. No, that's also his first land. That, that's where the bar is set <laughs> yeah. for him now. So what's next? Well, they kind of have to win the major, right? He's not going to get excited otherwise. Yeah, touche. Most people's first land is in a bloody field somewhere, camping in the mud. <laughs> camping in the mud. <laughs> Can this... you imagine pushing your wheelie chair out through that? Yeah. And this dude's living in the high life. <laughs> Just winning, you know, the first land back in a ridiculously long time. Over 400, was it 500 days by the end of it? Mihu not got much of a shot into this one, and the low sight is lost. He's done well to find a head of Perfecto there, and he's put the bomb on the ground, so the scout of Zerk is a threat. He'd have had to have hit a very snappy shot there, and now just Oboe with a scout and a deagle. Simple's having none of it. A map. Love to see it. Just uh, the headshots being lobbed out left, right, and center. The five headshot strategy. I was watching, that was Daps there that went down first with the mm -hmm. CZ, right? But I know that there was a period of time where I think it's called the Frenzy. I don't know its actual yes. name. I think it's the, it's like right. the CZ equivalent in, in Valorant. Valorant. Yeah, that was like really OP for a while. So maybe he's there. thinking, maybe he's thinking, you know, I don't know how much I got nerfed. Like, I don't keep up a lot. I, I just look, you've got the old pros I used to follow in yeah. North America who made the transition. I just see them tweeting about the it game every now and again. The the lay of the land. Yeah, you get you get enough. I love a bit of yard aggression. I'm sure so does Boomich, because he's got his Mac 10 dispatched to collect some free cash. Oh, it didn't quite have enough for the third. Could have had an extra 600 bucks, but instead it will just be Boomich is AK getting an extra 600 done. And speaking of AK, Daps is actually pretty happy to have wormed away from combat with an AK-47 on his back. I think he's wondering where he can hide right now because that would be pretty handy to take into the next round of play. Or they, you might would have a look. They, they'll acknowledge this. I think Boomich is... Oh, he's looking the wrong way, yeah. Hang on, I'm standing up. No, 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 no. I'm standing up, He's Jack. being covered. That's all I'm saying. CT Vent player has his number right now. He can't swing. There and I'm go. sitting down. Okay. okay. He did actually stand up and then sit down, everybody. Now, if you're interested in what it looks like in here, I bet Harry and Hugo come in every day and like, why do these boxes keep coming in? Like, there's been more boxes. Well, how do you think Harry and Hugo handle the situation of not being able to see the monitors? I don't know. It is peculiar. <laughs> That's why I stand on this box. No, I understand the box strap. We, we stand on boxes, everybody, so we have a, a, a better vantage point of the screen. We also get to hang off these bars, which is great for my upper back. I'm constantly stretching it out. Otherwise, I feel a bit hunched over. Very Notre Dame-esque. Yeah, well, I think a lot of people listening are probably familiar with the sedentary lifestyle that yeah. we've lived. So maybe right now, if you are listening, as we get into this first gun round, just stand up, you know, shake your legs all a little about, bit of shake movement. your arms all about. If you can touch your toes, do it. If you can't, give it a try. Get as close as you can. Yeah, just, and then while you're up, go to the fridge, 
Ooh. Grab a glass of water. Oh, from the, oh they've got fancy, like, yeah. automatic fridge. Yeah, yeah, well, you know that the ice, ice is machine. better, they've got Ooh. the water thing next to it. So, and if you don't, the tap works too. So here we go, first gun round. Layer the land to be established here and simple. Oh, was feeling pretty frisky for a bit of a ramp push right there. Negated by the molly. Daps the sleeper position in warehouse is one we need to keep in the back of our mind for a little bit later. But down the vent we go, so space for bit here and seems way too easy. Yeah, that's come easy as pie. Oh, Mihu, that's not shaped up nicely at all. Two here. Perfecto exposed. Simple's doing all the hard work though, and Stark will be forced off the line. Smoked off the line. And Navi, I mean, look at the luxury of Boomit right now. His team has done so much good work. He can go wherever he wants. It's like top site or lower site. Hmm. Yeah, and if they just go down lower now, Bits had this vent rotation the entire time. So the only way that EG can contest this is if they were to brute force their way down secret. And Bits seems to have a good idea that that is the only option in. So there's nobody lower. They're all three members are kind of wrangled here. And I, I hate to say it again, but it feels like a save. So Bit slipped down, I think completely undetected, right? It looked like he got down with, without a single issue there. So being able to patrol that lower site, the kills on towards ramp, and well, that's the round, simple as you like. I mean, this does. Th this is surely going to be quite an apparent gap, though, for the Evil Geniuses. If Navi are on their A game here on the T side of Nuke, they can pull these poor boys around the map. Uh, look, I just think dealing with Electronic alone outside, like that round right there, Daps killed him. Okay, so that, if you're able to do that, that is the first piece of the puzzle. Then comes the rest of it, right? So this isn't going to be easy. I don't think we're expecting a close score line like we had on map number one. And Yanko pointed out the fact that EG did get both pistols in that game, right? And that always attributes to making the score line look a lot closer than it was. But I think the sentiment, and probably for a lot of you at home as well, is that Navi are in control. Right, they felt in control, even though the scoreline maybe not reflected that the entire time, and they will probably feel in control, even if the scoreline now ends up back at 4-4 or six rounds for EG on the good. You're not going to be doubting Na'Vi just yet. And Boomich is into a Mac 10 here, so let's see. Where does he want to take that? Ooh, Sir will run boost to get himself up on the Aggie line. I'd love to see him stick around here for long enough. Oh, so many people, so many, and he does track electronic escapes through the credit card, and look how far Boomich is into the lower side. What was that? We cut to his POV for a second. Nice find from Oboe. He's already so pushed up. His team will join him. Oof, they pulled two down here, though, so this is a good defense for EG. Yeah, looks set for success indeed. Oh, and a perfect Mihu spray. Boomich just doesn't have the weapon to react accordingly, and so EG will respond with a round. And that's two rounds in a row. Electronic is the first guy to get picked off, right? So there, there's so many moves that he has. Maybe a little bit liberal in these first two, but we're we'll to sink our teeth into this as the gun round will come out again. So this is it. Cirque is in no man's land. And this is only really made possible by the fact that Boomage isn't on top of Silo. And that's where you'll see him in a lot of these Navi rounds, especially more default-esque. Nice little spray down there from Mihu. And here we go. Here we go. Back in. Line up there for electronic so he can do it once he's already garnered space here to the reverse side of main. The lobby crawl now towards Cirque's AWP at ramp. It's gonna be hard to break this. Yeah, they don't have an op of their own, so. Oh, a real opportunity presented itself there for Cirque and a frustrated wiggle of his mouse as he knows that was a dry peek into his AWP. Still a 5v5. Obo. Could lose his life on the checks from Simple. He's looking for the any way in. Taking cursory glances towards that bomb site. Now, back to ramp. Cirque will get a second shot at it if they commit behind bits, Util. Yeah, that's a very sus smoke. I think that won't incite a rotation. It looks like it has. And oh, here comes Electronic. A little late to the party arrives for a top take. 
even trade. Please did something. <laughs> Bit does a whole lot more. <laughs> they both just poked their head up. I want to see that from Bit's POV. He just wrecked them. Okay. Well, impact player of the round. And I wonder why. <laughs> Name that for a bit. Oh. Okay. They put their heads together and not in a good way. Bong. <laughs> Bong. Ouch. Okay. Well, they get another buy. Circle get his big green again. MP9 for DAP. So it's still pretty threatening, all things considered. And the wild journey of Electronic. Oh no, Boomich has just jumped straight into the fence and Dabs is dead. This is mean. They make it across. They have the sight and dare I say it, unless me who gets more than one, which he gives a good go. He softened him up and delayed. The doors are blown off as well. Circa's has got an environment where he could thrive. He's been smoked off on one line. They'll anticipate the second on the reposition and Molotov out of that as well. Wow, that was perfectly handled. Do you want me to say it? Don't have to, if you don't want to. I don't think I'm going to say it. No. Let's just see what happens when you... Like, so let's see how it feels when you don't say it. All right. Like, let's just try it on. All right. Try it on for size. It feels weird. It does feel weird. But, like, everyone's wa everyone watching knows what's happening. I hope they do. Like, we don't even need to say it. Or imply it. Guys at home, spell it out. I don't think they could spell it one letter at a time. No? In the chat, without someone messing it up? No way. You don't reckon Twitch chat have that ability? What, to spell a four-letter word? I don't know. In I, the right order? I got a bit of faith. I don't think so. I reckon there'll be wide people happy. There'd be lots of, um, I can't think of a single emoticon. Um, Keck pog champs? Ws? They lots like the Keck W. There'll be lots of Pog champs if they pull Pogs. it off. Pogs, yeah. I don't think they could, they're they going to be pogging. They'll have no reason they're to They're not going to be pogging? No. I reckon they probably got an S. That's okay. about as close as they got. All right. Okay, well, good luck, guys. Alex has put you up to the test out there. We'll check back in. Oh, yeah, it takes about, what, four minutes? Okay. We'll get the sideline report up. <laughs> we'll get them on that. But the fact that Na'Vi... And, guys, just look at the little details here. They're dropping the smoke front of Squeaky Door. They're also making sure that they are mollying Top Hut, right? If, you're, if you cannot contest from Top Hut to see... Like, you saw what happened to Oboe there. The molly lands, he has to move. At that point... They have vent control and they have yard secret control. So they have the rotations completely in their favor. The only way you can respond is multiple members at the start of the round going down ramp. But that's a conversation for another time. It is. And Electronics in front of the smoke wall and it does lead to a great find from Daps. He's been pretty hard done by there. I'd argue he's been robbed. Oboe does recover, but he's lost. Okay, the sight has been lost in response. Oh my god, it's lots of moving Tapping pieces. Too quick, isn't it? Yeah, so Bits caught me who's lobbying aggression, but Na'Vi oh, have top sight. They're trying to boost for Cirque. They're going to beat him here as well. That one-way smoke is going to be negated by this. Hello. Oh, he's dead. He's booked. He should be. <gasps> but the flash has caught him, and it does enable Cirque to fight off Simple and deters oh, them into no. over. Perfect position. Bomb is his. And it's perfecto. He loves a good clutch, but not this time. Oboe oh. responds a triple kill out of him, and he puts EG second on the board. Got a step ahead of themselves there, didn't they? Just one step ahead. It, it felt really good. So that there is a, a scuffed round for Na'Vi. They might be finding themselves down bad soon. That's the kid language these days. Where did that flash come from? Yeah, I was Must wondering. Must have been Cirx? I was wondering exactly the same thing. Must have been. Well, it didn't show like up as a desist in any other way, did it? Yeah, I guess so. Well, he, he did just drop the retake smoke, yeah. so maybe he just underhanded one into it. True, very true. Okay, well, a lease of life for EG now. They're already in the hole. A four-round differential here. And look how forward Simple is already. Mihu just has a mole. He had it so lucky to tuck his head. Simple will run on in, take the space, and get the kill. Now, they lost Perfecto in the meantime. But this is early ramp control. A minute 30 on the clock, it reads. Bits found another, and it's just chaos all over the shop here. Um, so I'm just kind of checking back in, Chad. Sure. And the chat didn't get it the first time around. Oh. I'm sure they'll get it the second time. Are you sure? They're th are they there yet? Are we talking about it yet? We're not talking about it just yet. Okay. It's about to happen, but I suspect Oboe up against the world is not a story that has many more twists. Oh, he's, if, imagine if he faked out simple. If he actually 
outbrained the mastermind himself. Breaks the glass, disappears up the ladder as it fades. Uh, just a bit nervy that Navi haven't planted the bomb yet. And what is that? Boomich has got down to the lower site now. So Obo will be summoned to the lowest po portion of the map. Instead, he will linger and S-A-V-E. Yeah, so right now, with uh, the position that he's taken, it's not a common one that you'd be clearing. Uh, so he's hiding in plain sight. But this will be Navi 7th. I think as expected here, going into Navi's map pick, it was going to be a little bit harder, but... We didn't address it. No, we said uh, EG, they needed to win, right? That's what we said to you. That's EG right. not only had to win, they had to win 2-0. So EG can no longer qualify uh, for the playoffs here. Nice shot from Obo. We'll get that kill and survive. So EG are completely done and dusted, right? All they're playing for right now is, is, is pride, I suppose. And uh, they do also have uh, Blast coming up, the group stage, uh, in, a, in a couple weeks' time. So... Don't fancy their chances here as the AKs. Look at this. He's, he's playing with his knife as he runs into the potential fire. Like, Na'Vi are in a different mindset right now. It, it, you can tell just by how early Simple's taking ramp fights, and they're really just contesting in a lot of different positions on the map simultaneously, which makes Russia's life very difficult. Let me tell you that much. Look at but this solo project from Electronic. He just flashes himself into Warehouse. Daps has done well, Tom. Was that bit going down the vents? Yeah, so they're yeah. still trying to pip that gap. So at least that's one point of pressure that's been removed. So now Navi might have to operate differently. Hello, Please. Info. He knows there's T-Roof action as well. So Navi could be really played with here. Electronic is being <laughs> waited for. But of course there's a flash. And he even gets away. Perfecto sets up for the equalizer and they've got it. Breeze working on a flank. Ooh. Looking for that wrap and da, da, da. nothing to report initially. Mihu, big chance. Nothing to report. Obo would do well to find a double here, considering the lay of the land. It kind of has to be. Oh, you can hear the five-seven from Rage. Oh, freeze! <laughs> you could just hear it just peppering. Oh, it's like rain on the roof. Oh, oh, oh! It's his best friend timing. <sighs> that one really hurts. Ah, I've had like, a couple of those where it just absolutely... Like, the Rops Ancient look away, p premium timing. Yeah, premium. that one was... Premium. That one as well. And, like, as he looked away, you could see... You could just... Him regretting the look it away. It was a curse. He, like, he tries uh, to bring it back, and it's just too late. It's not, not on, is oh, it? Just man. not cricket. And, of course, what's, what's so perfect about the game that we all love is that because of the way Counter-Strike works, those little iffy moments can have ramifications for the whole game. Yeah. The whole, you know, like, it's not like it's just your little microcosm, your one little round. It's like, oh, well, now we're broken, and oh, now they've got X we're and they've got Y yeah, and blah. Right. Yeah, so just <sighs> absolutely. I mean, you have to have real tough, a uh, thick skin to be a professional Counter-Strike player. You have to be able to brush a lot of stuff off. Uh, yeah, forget immediately, right? As soon as, as, soon as those rounds happen, you're going to have to just forget about them and move on forward. Not the easiest to do, and not something everybody is equipped to do. But uh, eight to two reads the scores, and it's just going to get more dire from here. E.g., lost bonuses. Yep, cool. You guys have heard the story a million times, but it's just about them being competitive in these rounds, and um, they've had a couple. Timing. Oh, just as the head was coming for that crosshair. Uh, 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 uh. It's a cruel mistress. All right. Well, again, the purchase not too shabby. Daps has saved AK, Cirque so with a big green. A couple of Famuses in the mix and an M4 for good measure. Even have a Diffuse kit here. So EG, you could say they have everything they need to add a round to that tally. See the way that Na'Vi do it, right? Yeah. Like, they know that the timing of those two smokes are going to fade and they time their last smoke of it so, like, I, I guess it's also means that if you're going to be an AWPer, you're going to be stuck watching that line. You can't just assume and rotate somewhere else, right? It kind of is giving you a, a longer shelf life on that smoke wall. I'm with you. Almost double the time, the length. Yeah, because you're going to watch As that one gap. Fades, you're going to watch you that have gap. to worry about it. Yeah, yeah, and then they smoke just before it fades, and then they're able to get across. They still get their space, but you've been planted like a bit of a goose. And if you have a lurker, it looks no different when they're underhanding the last of the bunch than when the whole team is. Yeah. Electronic, look at his clears, look at his flight path. 
He knows what he's got to call clear, and he has done so, but that's not the whole Na'Vi squad. And Nobo goes looking, <laughs> and he finds trouble. Breeze ahead of the smoke, does do some damage, I suppose. That's kind of exciting. Yeah, they, 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 look, what are, what are they meant to respond with, you know? Like, look at this. They have everything they want. Uh, you, the, the way the meta plays at the moment is if you lose lower in secret and yard control and you're worried about a heaven push, desperate, yeah. You, you, you start going for lobby control. So they start going for lobby control and Navi are waiting. Yeah, we're ready for you. Come on, push on in. We just have one man, Electronic, who took lower, who's opening the doors, who's shaking you down, and now it's Daps. Unfortunately, he saved last round. I'm not too sure he'll be allowed to do the same here, and Bit with another kill. They it's are four looking, for him in the round. Yeah, they're looking really, really mean here, Na'Vi, and nine to two, coming into almost a guaranteed 10th, considering EG's finances. For better or worse, it will be a conservative one. Alex, would you watch me stream GTA 5 RP? Do you reckon you can see me role-playing? I... I think, Chad, it's a new part of your character that I'd be willing to, to explore. All right, you'd, you'd witness it. Like, yeah. But it might not, it's, not, I might not end up with 20k subs. It's like you telling me, Alex, I'm thinking of taking up amateur theatre. Okay. <laughs> like, it lands on my ears the same way. All right. right. You're, you're intrigued. Well, I'm intrigued in this round. <laughs> okay. Two deagle kills. Ah. But I still feel like Na'Vi are about to turn this one on its head. Daps could change my mind. He is here. Get him with the frenzy, Come Daps. On. Oh, he's denied the bomb. Call it quits. The spike's he's down. He's got to build the bloody gun again. Struggles to do so, and it's time for the bit clutch. Nope, I changed my mind, and he's knocked me, who's for six. Now, he's planted open. Bree should have him dead to rights here. He's been allowed to reposition, drop his smoke, and there's the end of that. So, EG, thanking their lucky stars. They've got Breeze in the server. Three kills from him. Daps with an important one as well on that bomb plant. A smile on Breeze's face there as well. So... At least they're keeping the spirits high. Breeze. I'm trying to think of my... Like, I mean, cause you know how Breeze disappeared off the face of the planet for a while and then he's kind of come back with a vengeance? Mm. Who's, who was like the... Who was holding the, the top spot in the North, as North America's individuals uh, when I, he was absent? I think, well, we have to stick with Alish. I yeah. think Alish, uh, maybe at this point, undoubtedly the best North American player. Um, Obviously, Ethan left us as well, so he, he, he would have been gone. up there in the conversation. Um, yeah, I, I don't know. I, I feel like it just is it's a liege, right? It is, like, yeah. Stewie, obviously, his role means he's in a bit more flux than most. Naf has his moments. He does. And Cirque has found a nice gap through the smoke, eliminates Na'Vi's electronic. Now... Another man advantage for early for EG. They should have all the tools at their disposal now. Plenty of nades still in play. Rot the clock from Na'Vi and put them in a bit of a dire strait. Force their hand in any capacity. That is ideal. Simple seems like he's got intentions to drop some topside util, so... I don't know what they want to do with that. So it does this combo with the molly and flashes where the molly will land on uh, at the bomb box and the flashes will land behind it. So you're going to see here, they're about to displace the top site player and it's actually a bit of a fake. It's forcing them forward. Yeah, but they've got nades in their hands and freeze. One and a half. Mihu wants to continue to force the issue, pushing trophy. This is good timing for the push though. And we know that aggression can counter an RV squad. We saw Big Clan demonstrate that. Very astutely. There's be some clutch from Boomich here. Low HP, has to get the bomb, time a problem. Me who's giving him the bomb. And that was about where it will stop. So he's played this well. He'll see the bomb missing, he'll communicate that to his team, and I don't think he's even allowed the plan. Daps makes short work of him. All right, good stuff there. So four now for EG. The best that they can muster here on this CT side will be six, and that would have salvaged this, right? That's an actual decent half where this scoreline was at. For Na'Vi, they're going to invest here. They would love to get the bomb down because in the next round of play, only 2,400. So you almost feel that what they go for in this round is going to be compulsory to get the plant to just make sure they have a buy in the following. That's a worst-case type conversation. And here we go. We're out the gates. Simple into a Galil, no AK or AWP for him. The run boost for Cirque one more time, and he's mantled up quickly here to this top garage perch. Oh. And again, Electronic has been the opening kill in quite a few of these rounds, and Cirque, 
Yeah, him and Daps have been the ones dishing out the punishment. Yeah, and they can make a half out of this after all, EG. Even Boomich catching some flack on that yard position. Straight headshot through a smoke, I guess. 17 for a bit now. He's yeah. continuing the form. I'd re I don't think he enjoyed that off day. No. That really didn't sit well with him, clearly. Oh, oh, la la. Boomich gets onto Daps there. I'm surprised the bullets actually managed to find the mark there. Dip Daps just trying to duck away in time. And they love this smoke. Oh! Me who loves Ooh. that shot takes the head off of a jumping Boomich. And they're walking into Breeze's domain. Simple, the first to fall. He anticipates another, and rightfully so. Oh. And Perfecto, if you go around that corner again, you're a dead man. Nihu. Great shot onto Boomich. He finds a pair of frags at the end of that. And they are salvaging this half. They've actually managed to at least exhaust the funds of Na'Vi's bank balance as well. And should have the better foot going forward into the final round of play. Yeah, they are the ones here who should convert the six. Uh, Na'Vi would do well to steal this one away. And they're not even going to take a timeout here, which uh, bothers me a bit when freeze time is so low. But they will get the purchase in, in time. Quick fingers, quick fingers. Do they want to shake anything up here? Because the reason they took so long to buy is just to discuss what ground they're looking for. Now, there's the molly top hut, the smoke in front of Squeaky. That brings into question the vent drop, right? That little combo right there. Well, electronic, that is an interesting fight to take with a Mac 10. Am I missing some details for that? I think he's had five or six opening deaths this half. He just wants it done, and they should at least have the first of the top side. Breeze is here to keep it far too competitive. They won't be able to get the space to plant that bomb they so desire. And actually, Simple has found a lot of space in Yard. Now main less of a threat. Breeze is on his tail. Yeah, he's already completely disappeared, though. Bit walking into trouble. Suck will deal with him. And so you can see their options, their decision making has been kind of made for them. Hmm. Mihu, looking to confirm the sixth here. A nice strong throw. Leaves Simple with only 15 points of health. 40 seconds. If Cirque got a bit over pushy, he could have gone down. But he doesn't. And we call it. British National Anthem. If I asked you to. Oh, cause... Canada! Okay, I was gonna. Because I've forgotten the Australian one. I don't. Blah, 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 blah. It just hit me. Hit me like a tunnel of bricks, and so will this rat rush. Oh, and that one need is gonna hurt. Eesh. Damage found. Headshot found as Bit continues in the upward trend. Just a little bit of an off day yesterday. He's back to his winning ways. Back at the top of the scoreboard, and he's just so threatening. I'd leave it. Oh, you know what? Yeah, I'd do the same. He actually, has 83% headshot ratio at the 83. moment. 83. As the highest fragment. 83 in the with how many kills has he got? 18. 18. Oh. Holy moly. Hang on. There's some red beans and some ravioli on the top side for the boys of VG. Simple's on a crawl. How deep will suck? Clear. Hello. Oh, and goodbye. Shut down quickly by that USP of simple. A wide swing out of Oboe, and Bit's really not scared. They're all headshots, dude! <laughs> How have they just found another little baby simple hanging out in the wings, this time with a rifle and headshot percentage? 20 and 7 is score. I and, can't do the uh, math of that, but it, what's 83% of 20? We should be able to do this. You're yeah. not sure we'll be able to wear Obviously. this out. Why have I done this to us? <laughs> throwing our terrible maths into the limelight. 80% um, of 10 would be 8, yeah. so it's 16. Okay, so 16 of his 20 kills are headshots. Oh my. Are you sure? Do you want to phone a friend? Do you want to phone a friend? No, I think I did it right. 10, 80% of 10 is 8, so 80% of 20 is 16. Okay. 83% headshot ratio. Well, let's not get into the nitty and the gritty. That's just I'm not fair. Sure it says Don't go throwing a three. It says 85% now. 85. Good. So it's what, 17 out of his 20? Bit? Any more? Ah, uh, that's a cancel from me, dog. I think he's dead. Oh, just about has time to reposition. I'm surprised how slow they were to clear EG. Not in a rush. I suppose with the hero AK on Mihu, they are just going to let him be the one to set the pace. He doesn't have head armor, so could be huge problems here because every single gun on the other side will rinse through that lack of armor on Mihu. He is going to need to be quicker to the draw. Oh, that is odd, isn't it? Considering everyone else has got the old extra helm. Yeah, well, maybe he hasn't told them. Maybe he said he bought head armor and he <laughs> really didn't. Oh, I've done that before where I was dropping weapons for my team and I end up without armor and I don't want to tell them that I've 
miscalculated, so I just play a glass cannon rifle round. Yeah, and hope that you're not the last one to be yeah, alive. Yeah, no one's you quietly armor? judging you. Yeah, yeah. All right, well, quiet is the name of this round. Breeze is parked towards ramp. They've pivoted now back towards top. This smoke here from Daps will land front of Squeaky Door. That could give them an avenue towards lower if they want to try and slip the vent. And me, whose project does immediately get cancelled with that headshot you were concerned about. Look at the free aim out of Breeze. He's just taken heaven away from Na'Vi for the main body of the assault coming through. Heart simple denies a lot. Oh, this could all be simple. And it is four and the fifth. Jumping straight into his jaws. EG, feed the beast. Whew, and that was the force by attempt. So now we will see an economical round. Just some upgraded deagle, deagles. They are the regal deagles. Uh-huh. Mm. To boast. So the Australian national anthem, you're telling me you can't remember a single... My brain's just going to sing Waltz, sing Matilda. So, uh, and then there's something from like a Qantas ad, I remember. Ah. Yeah, why do I know the Canada one? What is the... English one. Uh, God save our grand. Why do they all sound so droney? I guess it's from a different time. It's from a yeah. very different time. There's some history there, I suppose. Yeah. I saw, by the way, a good suggestion for a knife on Reddit. You know how most people are like, oh, nice shot from Breeze. Imagine if they just picked up the rifle and did something with it. Everyone turn away. Turn away. Oh, Lord have mercy. Turn away. We didn't see that. Make sure your kids weren't watching that, because that's... Oh. Hey. This is really ugly. This is really oh, ugly. Oh, this is really ugly. This was just upgraded deagles. How has this happened? Chad Birchall with the weather? Yeah, it's cloudy. Perfecto. Outlook very cloudy. With the clutch. Yeah, dude, he actually could have dunked Breeze there as well. 30 HP. Okay. All right, let's get the bomb. That's the first port of call for Mihu. Breeze just needs to chill. He doesn't really need to do a lot, but... Oh, okay. Did Mihu spot him? He's looking active. Very active. <gasps> Perfecto now. He can't just bail Hello. him out. He can't be bailing him out to he this He shouldn't extent. be. The shot off the ladder was supposed to be his last. Oh. And why is he so good in the clutch? <laughs> little it's little bit of a smoke there. It's just a joke at this point. It's uh, like they probably just said to him, like, hey, we just wanted to practice your clutch. <laughs> just wanted to warm up your clutch in. Yeah, we just knew you had it. Yeah. We knew you had it. The, stats, the entire time. Stats told us. We right. knew you had it. That was just so you could get some kills, Perfecto. Let's see that one again. I mean, this last couple of kills. He's on 4 HP for the third, last three. <laughs> Oi, 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 perfecto. Great read of the game there. He handled that one with grace and poise, oh, where most wouldn't have even given it a look in. No, I, I cannot believe he's robbed that one. Now, we've we missed the boost, so we're going to cancel the boost. There's a massive gap in the smoke wall there as well, so simple, it's like to peek through. And for EG, well, that was a chance that's gone missing. Now they need to manufacture something just as deadly with a better buy and another try. Oh. Yeah, so it's a dangerous game it is. Yeah, I just the traces through the smoke, man. Like you're you're committing so much, especially when you're stationary. Yeah. Hard committing to a spray just makes me so nervous. But everyone's heart is still beating in our 19th round of play. And Simple starting to quicken in pace as me who advanced on his location. Another locked in. He knows they'd have to dump Uten if they want to get back across. And there it goes. The smoke confirms into his suspicions, EG. Locked out. Yeah, it looks like they've called cancel on the ramp progression here. So now towards top and Breeze will have to crack this one open. Simple's here too. Yeah. I am everywhere. And nowhere. The ethereal. Fragger. They need to clear this line. Oh, and they are walking in. Simple holds firm for a first. A second as well is added to his list, and they will handle it with class. Electronic 2, Simple the same. It leaves an RV just three rounds away, and EG in rather uncomfortable territory. You're in this kind of... It's rather tempting, but it's not perfect. So swallowing the bitter pill of a likely 14th, whipping themselves out that uh, casual half by. Yeah, in this kind of situation, you can buy down probably as low as 1,500. Right, that, that seems pretty safe, even 
A thousand is probably fine. T side AK full belt of utility as well, so you don't need to leave out too much. Oh, Boomish dissuaded from that aggressive maneuver. Electronic here to contribute. They get the first. Daps is down. And Simple's been on a tear on this CT side. He's done some padding, especially with that ace he had earlier. And they're coming into Bits Domain. So we might get to see some more headshots after all. Whoa, too many men. Too many angles. And they're starting to push him. So he will continue to be tested and now with his body dropped Not EG this again. doing it again. Not this again. Perfecto. Go kill. I suppose. Electronic's still there to party and they planted safe from Decon. So EG a whole lot of ground covered. Oh and Reese is set up as well in a real premium location. Now they should as a team who is currently winning 13 to 6 and no real reason to give away their weaponry Otherwise, EG would get all of it for free. Yeah, just save. It's all good. It's you, like a, you can concede this. It's hard for my brain to process that this is the lesser of the two evils when you're losing to pistols. Yeah. But I understand exactly what you're saying. It's just, it's like, it's the... I just sort of force it to process that, yes, losing to pistols sucks, but losing to pistols and giving them all your guns sucks more. Yeah, and look, their economy over there for Na'Vi isn't fantastic either. Right now, they've had a few of these closest rounds, right? We don't have to go back too far in history. Perfecto having to clutch out that round, right? So the ramifications of that are still being felt and reflected in the buy with Boomich only being able to get out of Famine. So they will be able to buy again, but this would not have been the case if they'd gone for that and lost. So EG, they do now give themselves that lifeline that they almost had before. But it, it's going to be difficult to be convincing because that was something, you know, just with pistols. Okay, oh, we get a couple kills and there we go. So now the rifles are back out. Simple's up on the perch. Oh, 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 multiple targets all over the shop. Simple just can't seem to decide, but he's distracted them enough. Electronics shouldn't have more, but he does take another head. Oh, the geniuses. Dismantled by Electronic. The only limiting factor were his bullets. That's four of the five. Breeze has got one HP to finish off the job. Electronic just completely destroys an entire team. And all Simple had to do was exist. You can see two players looking for that elevated angle. Oof. Yeah, like that's just great. That, we've had great moments from the players on Navi. Perfecto's clutch, Electronic multi-kill, Simple multi-kill, Bit with a really, really fantastic first half. This, this is, you're talking about simple trying to pick his targets. Electronic here, having the same kind of afforded to him. Up, two in front, not looking. And here I come, get ready for the boost box peak, because there's a little glimpse of my head prior to it in the vice. And as I was saying, the only thing stopping him was his bullets. Just dies on the reload, takes four with him in the one mag. So very solid haul out of Electronic. Electronic's actually playing a really ni nice little off angle for this. He can crouch if on the release of his crouch, catch any heads on silo. He's actually going looking for more. I think he really enjoyed the kills he was finding on Yard. He wants to try and replicate that. He would be peeking into an AWP, though, if he pushed the issue too much further. It is a bit of a shame here that the only T-side round that EG have gotten is with pistols, and then the only other round that's looked close was with pistols, pistols. as well. So, <sighs> rifles not filling us with too much hope, and Simple getting them another kill closer to closing this one down. The scoreline 14-7 to 7 now. Should only be a matter of time until they find these final two. And this is mid-round transition up here. Like, you think you've already cleared this area of the map, and actually, maybe Electronic gets another couple of frags here. Oh, I think you might have seen the head of Obo. Maybe not himself, but... He's seen something now. Yeah, he has. And he will knock Serg for six. Like, what a horrible way to die. You just can't quite piece it together. Simple continues his push, and Navi are having fun with this one. How oh, daps up against the world. No way in. No, he's going to get two on the lower site, then TP top. Ah, Omen. Omen. He's playing Omen. Oof. That wasn't a headshot bit. That one doesn't count. We're taking that one off the tally, mate. Alrighty, round number 23. Most likely going to be the final round of play here for the second best of three. If you're going to hang around later this evening, 8 p.m., we kick off big versus phase and a very, very important map for the face of those two squads. See, big phase. Big phase. And the reason is because tomorrow we have Na'Vi versus phase and big versus mouse. And those are the four teams who are going to be in contention. Obviously, Fnatic get the game against EG that they have to convert. 
And Bit's gonna end things right there and then. Simple, can't believe his luck. Two clicks of the man.